Okay, so now let's put it all together. Remember that force is the ability to do work. So what determines what the force of the impact will be? The amount of force your vehicle and your body will experience depends on the amount of potential energy that's released. Moving at 50 miles per hour creates a fund of potential energy. If you take your foot off the accelerator, you'd continue to move forward, but slow gradually, and that potential energy is discharged as force. On the other hand, if the vehicle hits a brick wall and comes to an immediate stop, all of the potential energy is released very quickly. The amount of time is critical. Remember that force equals mass times acceleration. So hitting a brick wall and instantly stopping releases all the energy at once. The amount of force released also depends on inertia, on how quickly momentum slows. In other words, if it takes longer to slow from 50 miles per hour to zero miles per hour, the same amount of force acts on the vehicle, but it's stretched out over time, so it has less influence on the occupants of the vehicle. For example, an airbag expands and then depresses as a body strikes it, slowing the person from 50 to zero miles per hour over a longer time, meaning less force during the period when the person's inertia goes from 50 miles per hour to zero is felt. The full force is felt, but distributed over longer time, so it hurts less. So what makes a crash more or less severe is heavily dependent on acceleration, or how fast you and whatever other object or vehicle involved in the crash were traveling. When you take into account how much mass is moving at that speed, and how much energy is released based on how quickly inertia in that direction of travel is acted upon by an outside force, it's easy to see how, other than wearing a seatbelt, speed is the one factor most under the control of a driver that determines how severe the crash will be. The next few slides will help clarify just how critical speed is in the severity of a collision. Then look at two other critical aspects of the crash dynamics. Second, collisions, and how the design of your vehicle and where and how the impact occurs makes a difference.